glowing caterpillars. Does he glow too? Oh yeah. Oh, he's glowed up. Oh, look at that. He's like, Taya, stop it. <laughs> Smile. Yeah. <laughs> Hey folks, welcome to Keys Moz. This is David Fine. I'm here with some new friends. Guys, why don't you introduce yourselves? Hi, I'm Taya Kesting Handley. I'm a researcher from the University of Massachusetts, Boston. I'm Dan Montagna. All right, so Taya, we are here and it's middle of June, it's a little buggy, so if we start like slapping our heads and like the camera jolts real quick, uh, please do forgive us. But Taya, what, what would you like to accomplish with our time? Uh, here today in Key Largo. I would love to be able to find some sphingids to uh, work on my research of understanding their life histories and documenting them all in the U.S. All right, so she's a sphingid girl. <laughs> That's awesome. And now, what got you into moths? How'd that work? Um, I've always been very interested in caterpillars, and uh, I find that the uh, the whole life history and watching them grow up and uh, eventually turn into moths is just so fascinating. And uh, I love documenting uh, what they're eating and where they're feeding and things like that. All right, and there, there's a lot that we still don't know yet about moths, isn't that right? Absolutely. All right, especially down here in the Florida Keys, guys, because out of all of our 593 species that we've documented so far, uh, I, I would say a large number, I won't say exactly how many, but have never been documented the immature life cycle stages, the, the host plant relationships, the caterpillars, and there's so many more little nuances about each species that. Uh, that we get to discover. That's why we're doing Keys Moths. Uh, but guys, let's see, go see what we can find. How about that? That sounds great. All right, good. Hey guys, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel because we got tons of great videos coming your way. Um, let's go see how we do. So, Taya, so you, what you got there? You have a UV light. Yes, so right? this is a UV flashlight, 100 UV flashlight. watt uh, LEDs. Okay, and what do you do with that? So this uh, illuminates caterpillars uh, that you can find on all sorts of different plants. So over here, there's an Elo Sphinx larvae that's oh, glowing that. under the that is so cool. light there. So so this this caterpillar, is a is a larva of the Ello Sphinx, Uranus Ello, and now you you have this UV light shining on it. Now I'm gonna try not to get too close with my flash, but you can see that that band going down the side of the caterpillar, and that just lights up under UV, isn't that right? It does. Let me see how does that show if I get closer. Uh, as I get closer, my my flash sort of messes with it, but if you can see. As, as you're flashing that light, that band kind of glows up, kind of neon green, and that is a pretty cool way to look for caterpillars. So, look at that little dude. Hello, Sphinx. Well, he's one of our more common sphingid species down in the Florida Keys, but we got a whole bunch more uh, to go look for. So we're gonna go on a little on a little walk down the path in the Nike Missile Site, North Key Largo, Crocodile Lake National Wildlife Refuge. Mr. Dan, you excited? Absolutely. Come on, man. This is like paradise. It's a little buggy. Not too bad, though. No. I think bearable. we can deal with this. Pretty bearable, yeah. <laughs> bearable, bearable. Now, tell me about your project, Taya. Sure. So I'm working on documenting uh, all of the life histories of every sphingid in the U.S., as well as determining what causes their uh, larval uh, stages to turn different colors when they uh, grow up. Okay. So. And you're which, with, with which university? University of Massachusetts in Boston. Right. Awesome, man. So now it's a privilege to work with you. And so now what's your target species today? What are we looking for? Uh, ideally looking for adults of uh, per, or adults or larvae of Protambulic species. Okay. Um, we get debatable if it's Stridulus or Carteri. Um, what's, yeah. your, what's your guess on that? I've been reamed out both ways. I have too. <laughs> <laughs> um, I call them Stridulus. Okay. Um, that being said, it would not take too much to convince me otherwise. Um, All right. I like to keep an open mind. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go and, I like that, open-minded. So we're gonna go and we're gonna use these UV lights and we and it, this can't really tell based on the video, but this shines purple. And when it hits something um, that has what certain biochemicals 
Yeah, so um, I'm not entirely sure what causes them uh, to glow, but right. certain things glow really well. Um, seems yeah. to, a lot of greens and white larvae Got it. do. Now, have you ever seen one of the scorpions? I have. Isn't that awesome? They're very cool. And there's a lot of them around here. We might see one, so I, I can't wait to go on our little walk. That would be very cool. So, all right, guys. So well, let's go on a walk, and we got some lights set up. We got a little bucket trap where we're trying to get some gravid female uh, protambulux, which is a big sphinx moth, one of our more common sphinx moths down the Florida Keys. And we are going to see if we can help Taya out, get some specimens and some uh, live live specimens for her research. So let's go. Plant. Yep. Yep. Ellis Sphinx. Okay. Oh yeah, there's somebody glowing right there. Somebody glowing? Let me see. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so now this is a poison wood. And guys, we found a caterpillar. It looks like a protambulux. And this is a poison wood tree. So I'm going to use my hand that's covered with uh, this thing here so I don't want to get my hand on the bark. Oh, there's a moth. And I'm gonna just gonna kind of lower this branch so that you guys can fuck your caterpillar. You got him? Yep. All right. Nice. Let's see. Nice poison start, it looks like. Oh yeah, look at you. Protambulus carter or strigillus, whichever one. <laughs> one they, of those. One of those, you see the big fake horn off the back, which is typical of most sphinged larvae. But these guys have a really cool uh, head capsule. He's got like a pointed head capsule, right? Yep. Yep. Neato. Okay. So, awesome. you're a brave girl picking up poison with, <laughs> with your bare hands, girl. We'll see if, it, <laughs> if I uh, make it through the night. <laughs> we'll see. I'm sure you'll make it through the night. This is a tamarind tree. What'd you guys find? So there's two geometrid larvae hanging off of it. Oh, yeah, look at that. Little geos. Cool. Here's one down here. Oh man, there's even more of it. That actually might be a butterfly. Let's see. Oh no, it, it's geometric. It's a geo. Is it? Uh, yeah, it's a geo. Boy, they look pretty. Yeah, it's a geo. Pretty similar to that large orange sulfur caterpillar. Yeah. Man, these lights work. We've only been doing this for about five minutes. Yeah. And you guys are lighting it up, man, <laughs> finding all kinds of stuff. Very yeah. fun. And we got a tree snail up there. Oh yeah. So you guys can see the, the tree snail all lit up there glowing. Guys, so there is a big old something rather. He's glowing away. Oh, this is a cool shot. So I can actually see him glowing from here. And let's go see, what is he feeding on? It might be an ello. I think it is. It's yeah. an ello. Yep. Oh, that is an L. Oh, wait, what am I putting my face into? Okay. I think it's an L.O. <clears throat> I don't All right. know what this plant is, though. Ello Sphinx, this is a polyphagous dude, man. That means they'll eat a lot of different things, but it's a, what is that, final instar? Probably. Looks it, yep. Yep. Big old guy. And there's dragonflies hitting <laughs> my phone. So, yeah, help yourself. Awesome. Very cool. Sphinx finding. I love when they thrash around. Thrash around. Show us our little, oh, look at that. <laughs> He's like, Taya, stop it. <laughs> can we see his little eye spot? See if we can find his little, see his little eye. We got this little fake eye spot. There it, it is. is. He's like flashing it. He's like, there it is. He's got a little fake eye spot in this thoracic region. That stays hidden until they want to expose it. I don't know if it actually works. It must do something. Yeah. <laughs> Currently, it just... Really it's just annoying. Me. It's just annoying right now. <laughs> no flash. That makes a huge difference. Now I can you can see how these UV lights make stuff light up purple. So this is a tree snail, Florida tree snail, and uh, he's cruising for a bruising here on this. Uh, what, what is he on? Jamaican dogwood. Pretty cool. I don't know if it shows. So this vine has all these little green bioluminescent kind of 
I guess it's not true bioluminescence, but they glow in ultraviolet light anyway. These little nodules have some kind of chemical that lights up in UV. And you can see it. There we go. Look at that. Like a starry plant. How cool. Is it another Protambulex? I think so. Let's see. You can see them all lit up right in the middle of the screen right there, guys. Yeah, it's Protambulex. That is cool. He is bright, bright green under this UV light. Oh, it's not even fair. <laughs> Taya, it's not even fair. This is so cool. All right, now, how are we going to get him without getting all lit up with poison wood? Can you grab him there? Yep. Yep. You got him. There we go. All right. Neat. Are these eatings on the top from him, or is that something else? Could be. Uh, looks a little bit like too much damage for them. Yep. Okay. I'm going to release this. Sure. Yeah, so these are the very typical Protambulix. Typical Protambulix. Um, the one I have with me, if it's not shed okay. already, has nice orange blotching all over it. Cool. I haven't, I've only ever seen one of these before. Oh. One Brazilian pepper, so I'm, I'm glad to be able to see these guys. Yeah. Excellent. They're really awesome. They are. I'm excited, man, because this is adding a, an element to, uh, to what I'm going to be doing here. Oh, that's, see, Dan, you do it the right way. You find one that's actually <laughs> low down, chest level. and easy, <laughs> chest level. You don't have to, like, go up through poisonous plants to get. Is it Ello? Yeah, it looks it. says, Ello. Hello. <laughs> yeah, it's Ello Sphinx. He's all glowing green. Look at that. And there's another one right up there. Okay. Little beetle. It's so cool. All right, Dan's found something. Oh, look at it glowing. That is so wicked. That thing is lit up. Oh, it's so cool. Big old Ello. That is so cool. What's this thing on? That's a good question. I'm not, I'm not sure. I hope this shows how purple this green and like iridescent green this thing lights up under this light. It's so wild. Um, it's, it's not a rubber vine, so it, it could be. Smile? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Amazing. Here's another one. Glowing. Glowing caterpillars. Cool. He's final. Oh yeah. Is it Rustica? Or is it Rustica or Sexta? It's Sexta. Is Never it? Mind. Oh, so look at that. Cool. Does he glow too? Oh yeah. Oh, he's glowed up. Sexta. More for Sexta. And that's a for sure? It looks it. There's a white and black. Oh, he looks so much more cool under UV. <laughs> <laughs> So this is definitely something in the Spolinaceous family. Yep. Cool. All right. Well, I'm glad I was right about it for a Yeah, you were right on, man. You were right on. Sometimes I'll make statements like that and be very wrong. <laughs> <laughs> so this here is a Jamaican dogwood. And uh, Taya, why don't you go ahead and open up that little tent there, if you sure would. Thanks. Because... Inside tents of Jamaican dogwoods will be. Oh, yeah, look at him glow in the dark. That's a Polygonia Leo. That's a skipper caterpillar. Uh, one of our cool South Florida skipper butterflies. And they, we can't see them just walking around because they hide themselves inside these uh, leaf tents. Uh, but isn't he? He's full grown, huh? Oh, yeah. Getting ready to pupate. Looks like. <laughs> there you go. Awesome. Cool. Toke Gecko.
<laughs> He's yelling at us. There's an Elo Sphinx. They're everywhere. Ouch. Alright guys, this is what is called burning the candle from both ends. Uh, it's 5, let's see, well, 5.26 a.m. We were out until midnight. Um, lights out, not a whole lot of the sheet, and we know a lot of the sphinged and other moth activity takes place between 3 and 4. So, wake up early, and... Here we go, we're gonna go check the sheet now. What do we got here? Got a Pluto. Pluto Sphinx? Down there. Uh, All right, so we got Pluto Sphinx, Xylophanes Pluto. She's photographing the Protambulux, and that's really the one that you're kinda... Boy, it looks like. Yeah, boy. And we got an Elo Sphinx. Oh, this is a cool guy. Have you ever seen this one? Oh, yeah, we got one of those out on the keys. It's a terrible. That's a nice one there. There are some cool bugs at the sheet. Not a whole lot yet. But we got some Rotes Sphinx. We got a little <laughs> tiger moth. Dan just swallowed a bug. Cough, dude. Oh. <laughs> Oh, uh, there's our Zale, nominate species. Oh, there's a bark mantle. Oh, there he goes. Yeah, that's, that is where you're supposed to be, right? Mr. Manson. You let me hold you? You let me hold you? Come here. Come here. Oh, there he goes. Dude, it's like a cockroach. <laughs> they can, man. They boogie. Are we right there? Mm -hmm. All right, so, guys, in my opinion, at least for me, that's the moth of the trip so far. Mm -hmm. Paradoxata. What a gorgeous bug. Is it male? Is it a female? Don't know. And there's our Zale, undescribed species. Somebody please describe this species. <laughs> Ouch, mosquito biting my face. Okay. Uh, are you a female? I wonder. That is a jeweled bug, boy. Cool bugs. And that's a dark heterocampa. All right, folks, so this may not look like that much to you, or it may, but this bug, and all the times that I've been coming to the Keys, this is the first time I've actually seen one. This is Gonadonna bidens. Um, it's a family, Gonadonna is a fruit piercing moth family. Um, there's, I think, four species that live in Florida. And this is one that uh, has only been recorded in southernmost Florida in the Florida Keys. And I think we have three specimens that Jim Trover just found all three uh, from the beginning of our project. So this is the first time I'm ever seeing this bug. Underneath it's got like a, a, a black hind wing with a yellow, orange yellow dot inside. Very cool bug. It lives throughout the cent Central America and the Caribbean and it just pops up into Florida every now and then. So really, really cool to see this bug, guys. Uh, it's a first for me. So it's always cool to be able to come out and find new bugs. And there's our first Saturnid of the night. Imperial moth. Gosh, guys, not a whole lot of bugs, huh? Well, there's a lot of bugs, but not a lot of moths. That is a beautiful.
beautiful bug right there. Oh, she's the poison beast. Oh, come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. I got one for you. See this little this little geometrid right here? Yep. There's three specimens ever been found in our country. Wow. There's number four right there. That's pretty incredible. It's an awesome, awesome bug right there. You are photographing a rare moth. <laughs> awesome. Gotta make sure these pictures come out then. Yes, make sure a picture comes out of that guy. That is a rare bug. Awesome. What you got there, Dan? Bunch of flannels. Flannels? Woo! Were you cold? No, a little bit. Flying up. <laughs> Aren't they cool? They're really you, fun. You just, they're nice and cute and cuddly as adults, but you do not want to touch this caterpillar. No. No. <laughs> they hurt. They hurt. They don't call them pus moths for, for no reason. So. Oh, but they're so cute. But he is cute and cuddly as an adult, so. <laughs> Harmless as an adult. <laughs> okay well uh we kind of burnt the candle at both ends we did. <laughs> uh I'll be out all night out super early the sun's just now coming up so taya why don't you give us like kind of like a recap of the night what do you think uh sure it was a pretty excellent night um i think we were at six or seven species of spinach. that's right um, that's good lots of uh cool nododontids and geometrids as well yeah we got some cool things we got that new new uh new nubia i think you're called this is nubia that little green geometrid yes. only been a couple of them found in the united states it's very cool that's one. always a cool thing so got a couple of uh gorgeous xylophanies pluto the pluto sphinx pluto sphinx those are cool and um and we found a bunch of caterpillars last night didn't we oh yeah with your awesome little little uh uv light flashlights definitely a lot of uh really cool spinjids and uh little geometric caterpillars too that's very cool so dan what do you think man what are your thoughts this is pretty exciting exciting stuff definitely yeah you enjoying yourself absolutely is, now, is it is, is it this buggy in massachusetts as it is i, no. <coughs> I just swallowed a mosquito no. <laughs> you can take a deep breath without uh inhaling <laughs> the air is cleaner in massachusetts yeah. all right uh well guys uh, i hope you are super successful with all of your your work uh taya where can people uh, see more of what you're doing, your photography, where would they be able to see that? Uh, you can take a look at my website, uh, www.spingeday.us. Spingeday.us. All right. And so we'll, that will be right in um, the description below so you guys can check that out. Uh, guys, hope you enjoyed this episode. And um, I just love the Florida Keys. Despite all the mosquitoes and horse flies, um, we got a lot of super cool bugs and it really is paradise. Um, you know, minus the buck. All right. So, guys, hope you enjoyed yourself, guys. It's a pleasure to meet you all. It's great meeting you. Yep. Thank you again. You got it. All right. Hey, guys, take care. Uh, let's get out there and enjoy South Florida. Bye now.